This is an introduction to one of my oldest cave diving videos, picking any ponds. And the reason I haven't uploaded this one to the new channel before is because I was always hoping to go back and do a proper video with the benefit of more experience um, and maybe even some access to some of the areas I couldn't go at the time. Uh, so that hasn't happened for one reason or another. So I thought I'd put it up. It's a it's kind of an iconic site in cave diving in South Australia, known in many places in the world. It can be extremely clear. You've got uh, an entry pond, which a lot of people snorkel in as well. Um, it's about eight, 10 meters deep, I think. And then you've got this reed curtain. And then beyond that, there's this spectacular piece of topography known as the chasm. And that just drops off to an area called the dog leg. Beyond that, that's restricted. I'll come back to that shortly. Um, and at the end of the chasm, under a ledge, you've got the entry to the cathedral. Assuming you stay in the areas of the cathedral that you're permitted, it's probably one of the safest overhead environments in cave diving in the country. I can remember on my video when I first uploaded it on the other channel, someone said, why aren't you running a, a line in there? It's actually the only site that you're discouraged from running a line in uh, the areas, assuming you stay in the areas you're permitted. Um, I think it's for conservation reasons. That being said, it's been a few years since I've been there, so who knows if there's been any changes. So, in 2008, I think it was, and again in 2011, again I stand to be corrected, there was some further exploration that was actually done with a permit uh, to a few people who are quite well known in the country for uh, their exploration videos. And the leader of the exped expedition, as I recall, was Richard Harris, who's since become quite well known for the Thai cave rescues. And he's actually, on his channel, put together a video of what they found below the dog leg. And it just fascinated me when I saw it. It's just such interesting topography. There's a series of restrictions and saddles and it's very silty down there. So needless to say, they're ticking all the boxes, running a good line. Uh, it's deep, so they're running a quite complicated uh, mixed gas uh, decompression dive. Uh, I think they were doing it on rebreathers. And once they got to the bottom, uh, they worked their way down to about 110 meters and then they found underneath the cathedral another large chamber, which they called the Chamber of Secrets. So I suspect there's some fans of Harry Potter there. Anyway. I thought I'd put a little bit of footage from that in this video with full credit to Richard Harris, uh, John Dallaswana, and the various team members that were involved in that and taking the footage. And uh, yeah, I really encourage you to check out his work on his channel on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description box. Um, I'll also put a link to uh, his other channel, The Real Risk Podcast, which is a really interesting series of interviews with uh, other explorers. You can get lost in there for a while listening to some of them. So I was hoping to always go back and get some decent footage. It hasn't happened. They also haven't run any um, further explorations uh, below the dog leg, which is a shame, but who knows what will happen in the future. So for the moment, the only video I've got on picking any ponds is this one from 2013, I think. So I hope you enjoy it.